for making a racket. Haven't you heard? There's a strange wanderer. Cutie, you're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. So it is. In that case, I declare this the day of... The day of my life I wish I could get back because I spent my first ever outing with someone taking them on an annoying errand. Don't you think that's a bit long? <laughs> well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes! Let us pick! Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. This pair? Soft, puffy, and very comfortable. Certain to make a little girl, well, in this case a woman, look quite adorable. After all, they're the same kind worn by toy dolls. They're practically a badge of cuteness. Bloomers? I'm sure to attract some strange looks if I dress up like a small child in public. Do you have some strange hobby you're not telling me about? You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> well, if you insist, I'll just use them as an extra pair of pajamas. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? 
Work is that bad, huh? Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. This seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever... <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? Good hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> Why don't you... This seems like the sort of staple... You sure? Can't change... Hmm. Finished ordering? Sit here. Let's dine together. Today's recommendation is the steak. Hmm. Such a potent aroma. It's almost suffocating. I never thought someone your age would go for a dish like this. I always had you down as a little cutie. Now I'm not so sure. Ugh, Paimon's so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. <sighs> okay, then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop, then, cutie. Today's recommendation is the steak. This is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, c couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Dandelions are one of our classics. And a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They are a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the dandelion evokes. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? Missed flowers? Over there in the corner. But don't touch them with your bare hands. You'll get frostbite. You want them? You're sure? What an unusual... It's just that Lisa seems to use Electro quite a lot. Things could get a little bit dangerous. You sure? Can't change... 
some flowers for Miss Lisa? Dandelions are one of our classics. And I know what you're thinking. Most fl- Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself- You sure? Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Ring a bell? Oh! Uh, yes. Well, what happened was... was... Oh no, what am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> a while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. Pet Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> well, if it really was stolen, Donna's done the thing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three, no, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Oh, Paimon's got it! Use your elemental sight to look for clues! Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all! It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So, what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking.
Hmm, it's further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell.
It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. Thief lives inside ruins? The Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. Stealing books is hardly the Hilly Churl's style. All they would use books for is to keep their campfire going anyway. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an Abyss Mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Come on. Whoa. So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. It's so much bigger in here than Paimon thought! Uh, do we really have to go all the way inside? 
If you borrow a book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions.
You're in for a little shock. Blitz. Come a little closer. Urine for a little shock. <laughs> Blitz. Such a brute. Urine. <laughs> Come a little closer. Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You've been a naughty boy. My... Try not to enjoy this too much. Come a 
little closer. God, I knew I should have stayed home. interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... who are you? The Librarian, although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains... the secret. Huh? What, what are you doing? Such... Concentrated elemental power! P please don't! Hmm. <laughs> Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. It isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. This is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me? Are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Good. You're amenable to reason then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. <laughs> 